All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the units of K, the rate constant, for zero order, first order, and second order reactions. So the main tip that we need to realize is that the units of rate are always molar per second, or equivalently, moles over liters times seconds. So as long as we know the units of the rate, and we know the rate law of the reaction, then we can actually solve for the units of K. So first, suppose we have a zero order reaction. Now, if you recall, the rate law for a zero order reaction is shown as follows. Rate is equal to K times the concentration of A to the zero power, or more simply, rate equals K. Now we just established that the units of rate are going to be in molar per second. And <clears throat> if the rate is equal to the rate constant, and the rate is in the units of molar per second, then the rate constant itself must also carry the units of molar per second, or molar times seconds to the minus one. So I'm going to put in this part of the table here, we have reaction order and units of K. For the zero order reaction, I'm going to put molar times seconds to the minus one. So now let's turn our attention to a first order reaction. Now, if you recall, the rate law for a first order reaction is this. Rate is equal to K, the rate constant, times the concentration of A to the first power. Or simply, K times the concentration of A. Once again, the rate is going to carry units of molar per second. That never changes. And then we have K over here on the right-hand side of the equation times a concentration, and the concentration is just going to be in molar. So that means we can algebraically solve for K using these units. So if I divide both sides of this equation by molar, I'll get that K is equal to molar per second over molar, or times 1 over molar. Molar cancels, and we're left with k is equal to, the units of k are seconds to the minus 1, or 1 over seconds. So, the units of k for a first order reaction are reciprocal seconds. So now let's look at a second order reaction. And the rate law for a second order reaction is this. Rate equals K, the rate constant, times the concentration of A squared. Of course, the units of rate are still going to be molar per second. And we're taking K, and we're multiplying that by a concentration squared. So we can say molar squared. So if we rearrange this equation and divide both sides by molar squared, we'll get K all by itself. So we'll get K equals molar per second over divided by molar squared or equivalently one over times one over molar squared and molar cancels out with molar but we also have this additional molar term on the bottom now So we're left with nothing but 
seconds to the minus one and molar to the minus one. So molar of course is moles per liter. So that's just a you know quick and straightforward way on how to derive the units for the rate constant of a zero order, first order, second order, or indeed any order of a reaction. So I don't know. Um, when you study kinetics, you might have to memorize a lot of things, but you know this doesn't have to be something that you have to memorize as long as you remember the rate laws. So you know if if you could use a little extra. Uh, memory space to memorize other things, uh, this little trick will help you get the units of the rate constant. Once you have the units of the rate constant, then you can use the integrated rate law to determine, to predict the concentration of a reactant uh, at a certain time.